Alrighty, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be doing some scale accessory additions to the SCX24 C10. So if you've been following along to the channel, you know in previous videos I've been doing some performance modifications. Uh, click that playlist right there if you want to watch some more. But uh, I haven't done any scale or, or uh, aesthetic modifications of my own. So uh, today we're doing that in that video. So the first thing I really don't like about the C10 is this little bar. I mean, yeah, I put it on the first video just to put it on and show the audience, but personally, I don't really like the bar, so that's got to go. Also, I've been seeing uh, some modifications where people put magnets for the body clip points so you don't have to deal with these little things. Not that they're an inconvenience, but they're just kind of annoying. They're so small, so I got some magnets to uh, help out with that. And then I just got a, a couple cool accessories to make my truck look my own. So yeah, let's let's let's, let's uh, look at what I got. Move that out of the way. So I've been on eBay, uh, Etsy, a couple different places to find stuff, and I mean, it's not really the craziest, most unique things to get, but it'll definitely um, separate my car from being stock. So first thing first is SCX C10 sliders. So these are by Shaka Hobbies. Uh, follow them on Instagram and Facebook at Shaka Hobbies. And so these rock sliders tie into the frame of the truck. So there's not really much I gotta do to it other than undo a couple screws and screw these bad boys on there. So if you look at the sliders, so I'm assuming these are all 3D printed. I'm not too sure. Don't wanna say things that I don't know, but follow Shaka Hobbies. Follow them on Instagram, check them out. Ask them. So, uh, so here's the slider. So it's gonna mount with these four little holes right here onto the frame. So they go underneath the truck like that. So included, oh nice. I got some stickers from Shaka Hobbies. Oh, definitely gonna put some of those on the truck. Um, maybe even in this video. So Shaka Hobby C10 sliders, first thing. First order of business. And then again from Shaka Hobbies is the Shaka Hobbies SCX24 C10 toolbox. And so, I mean, toolbox would be pretty freaking sick if you ask me. So, again with the Shaka Hobby stickers. I'm kind of cool. I'm kind of glad that I have these now so I can use them. And so, this is a toolbox. And this is a functioning toolbox, so it opens. Let me see if I can get it opened. Ah. Bam, okay. I was a little bit confused. Oh, there's nice little magnets right there to keep it. Oh, nice. It closes. Oh, nice. So this is a toolbox for the back of the truck. And so this mounts where this uh, this bar is, so I'm definitely gonna have to take that out. And you simply uh, hot glue this toolbox to the bed of the truck. So we'll be doing that. Then next, I got this Squiddies. Uh, Squiddies Scale Creations. I got the Squiddies Scale Creations uh, gas canister i don't know it doesn't really have a title for it i know i i, think, I believe i got this one on uh etsy if i'm right maybe it was ebay i'm pretty sure it was etsy squiddies oh did i get a st is this also a sticker uh, i want to say this is a sticker but i'm not too sure it just feels like a piece of paper oh maybe maybe no this is definitely a sticker here's a smaller version Follow Squiddy Scale Creations on uh, Instagram. Oh, yep, definitely Etsy. Instagram, Facebook, and Etsy. So that's where I got this guy. So here is the little the mounting piece and the gas canister. Falls in there perfectly. This is also 3D printed. Looks pretty awesome. And then uh, last but not least, I have a snorkel. And so this snorkel was purchased on eBay, not ever a fact. So it's a little... Little snorkel piece here for the front of the truck. This is gonna have to drill through the body. Not too big of a deal. Got the little little screw on piece. And then they added cones. I didn't pay for these cones, but they added them. I don't really think I'll be able to use them, but I mean I got some cones for going in between when I'm on the course. When I'm out. We'll maybe try to involve those in some videos. And so this was a uh, this was designed by Adaptive or Adaptive 3 Designs. So enjoy your free pair of cones. Want some more? Free pair with every order. 
Oh, so yeah, adaptive designs, adaptive designs uh, on Instagram, adaptive three underscore designs. So yeah, check them out. So for the first things first, we're gonna undo the roll bar on the C10. So there it is, already looking a lot different. So here's the little roll bar. So just a little tip for you viewers at home. So when you have old parts, never throw them away because you never know if you might need them. So with this little baggie I got with the toolbox, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna reuse it. And we're just gonna put the parts in for the roll bar. I'm liking the look. I'm definitely liking the look. The SCX24 rock sliders, okay? So these four frame, these four frame guys right here are gonna mount underneath here onto the frame. So little screws one side at a time. I don't really know what these screws hold in, but I'm trying to be very attentive to see if they mess anything else up, which it looks like they're not really doing, so I'm not too worried about that for now. Okay, so they are two different links. So on the outside, on the outside of these four, it's the longer one. And then on the inside, it's the shorter one, okay. Got it, got that noted. Got it, so got one started. Don't wanna over tighten these screws, don't wanna strip anything. So just, just have them a little bit snug. Alrighty, now for the shorter two in the middle. So that was a really easy mod accessory. Really easy to put on. Didn't think it was gonna be that easy. Here, here's where it mounts on the bottom side. Bam, looks clean. Looks really, really clean. Goes well with the black wheels. Dope. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side. Alrighty, so there are the Shaka Hobbies SCX24 C10 sliders. That was a really easy addition to the truck. That kind of went too smooth. So the next modification is this little scale accessory 3D, uh, 3D printed snorkel. And so I need to mount a point up here on the hood. I need to drill it. There's a little dot, hopefully I don't mess this up. So we can... Alrighty, so there's our hole. Nice little clean little hole. And this should be another easy uh, installation. So here's the snorkel. Here's a little screw to screw, here's a screw to screw it in. And here's the, the bottom part that the screw will screw into to hold it into the body. Got it, okay, so we're gonna get the snorkel. Put it up top. I'm gonna grab that little piece. Don't wanna over tighten the 3D printed part because that would suck. A little bit of patience and finesse, bam. There is the snorkel. Check it out, looking awesome. Adaptive three underscore designs, bam. All right, so I mean, this is a good segment, a segue into the next uh, next part. See so how this goes. So the trunk bed opens. So the trunk bed opens from this side. So that section is gonna face the tailgate. So I mean, it drops in perfectly like that. So there's the tail, the, the toolbox. So we another look at the snorkel real quick. So the toolbox is designed to be attached via hot glue. So we're just gonna simply hot glue this bad boy. I should have probably cleaned the back part of this bed before I uh, glued it. So bam, another easy install. And now, I got this little can. So, uh, how are we gonna do this? How are we going to do this? Alrighty, so I've taken a little bit of inspiration from the B17 Betty, and we're gonna we're gonna attach this little gas cap canister thing right to the position right there, right to that 
fenders at the quarter, at the back fender, quarter panel, door panel, right here. We're gonna touch it right there. So I need to drill a hole through this, and then drill a hole through the body, and then mount it together. So I need to find a little screw, and I need to find something to mount to that screw. So give me a second. So I got this screw. We're gonna put this screw through this little black holder thing, through the body, and I couldn't really find a fastener, so we're just gonna glue it in there, and then, then we're gonna screw it in there, and then we're gonna hot glue it. So I'm gonna get a little bit sketchy, but uh, we'll see how this works. Alrighty, so the little holder definitely held in, didn't collapse, didn't break the material, was really happy about that. So I drilled a hole right in there, perfect. So now I just gotta drill a hole in the body, and we will be set. So definitely messed up the sticker a little bit. I mean, it's just a sticker, no big deal. So this fastener is a little bit too big for this little screw, but here's the plan. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the screw through the holder, through the body, into this little guy. And before I put it in, I'm gonna dab it up with some hot glue and we're just gonna hope for the best. Probably not the best way to go about it, but it's getting late. <laughs> I got work tomorrow. <laughs> hot glue. Right to this side, you can see it. Dab it up real quick. And then we're gonna get the little fastener. Hopefully not burn our fingers. Just gonna press it in there. Not too bad. And then before uh, before this, this glue dries and hardens before I mess it all up, we're gonna dab up some glue on the can because why would I want this can to fall out anyways? Some glue in there, and we're just gonna shove this thing in here. It's a tight fit with that screw, but bam, two. Alrighty. So there is the truck. Did a snorkel. Little toolbox, gas can, gas cap, whatever you want to call it thing, some rock sliders, and she's looking a little bit more like mine. Definitely liking the way it looks compared to stock. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the way the truck looks. I mean, it doesn't look like a stock truck anymore. It definitely looks like it's mine. Definitely did a little bit of something, something to it. Pretty excited with the way it turned out. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully, uh, you can check out these little companies that design these products. I'll try, I try, I'll try to link them in the description below so you can go and check them out. And yeah, stay along for the next video. Appreciate you watching. Peace.